Today we're going to be taking a look at the sale concept out of the u trips formation in Madden 24. The u trips or the y trips patch formation is found in the New England Patriots playbook. And the play we're going to be taking a look at today is going to be the play SCAT. Now if you want to get my entire u trips offensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to that down in the description below. You can get that by joining the Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up and the link's going to be down below. Again, it gets you access to all of our ebooks, all of our updates, everything for just 10 bucks. And we've got over 15 different ebooks that we've dropped so far this season, and we're updating them pretty much every single day so that you're always on top of the most up-to-date variations of the offenses and defenses we recommend. Now, with that in mind, uh, we're going to show you this really cool sale concept out of this formation. This is going to be with a slot apprentice. You don't have to have a slot apprentice, but I like to have a slot apprentice. So, um, actually, we're going to use a running back brace for this, uh, this setup. So we're going to block our tight end. Um, you could put your tight end on a flat. We're going to block him for this setup. And then we're going to streak our outside trips wide receiver. From there, we're just going to drag our solo receiver, and we're going to text his route or running back. And I'll show you how this works. And it will really give you some great options if your opponent happens to be in man coverage. So if your opponent happens to be in man coverage, um, your, your corner route is actually a really good user catch route. You can basically click on the receiver and um, come back to the ball and be pretty effective. Okay. Now, the other thing I want to say is if they're pressed up like this, put this outside receiver on a fade instead of a streak. And what you'll see is this fade will give him an outside release, which will make us so that we have more space to hit this corner route. What's cool about this corner route is it's a sharp cutting corner route. And so it's got a really good opportunity to be able to uh, basically beat man coverage. Now, if they do press you, um, the other thing I want to say is you always want to peak this deep fade route, okay? Uh, you see right here, get a step on that deep corner, and this could be a potential big play for you. Uh, and a lot of times, if you hit this, they will stop pressing you or they will shade their coverage. Once they start to shade their coverage, it really helps us offensively in this formation. So a lot of people like to shade, kind of meta way to shade right now is to shade inside and to shade over the top. When they start to do that, um, this corner route becomes a lot more open because it's such a sharp cutting horizontal uh, corner route. So as you see right there, we're able to get that open. And you know now they're having to you know maybe put some zones uh, over there, like a cloud flat, for example, to defend that. And then obviously there's a ton of other stuff we can run on a play, any given play. So that's also important to think through. But the other beauty of this is this right here. So what you have over the middle is you have a little trail concept. And this running back Texas pattern is really good against man-to-man. -man. And uh, it's really the reason why we use that specific pattern for this, uh, for this setup. It's very effective at attacking man coverage. So the user has to kind of go with the, the running back Texas pattern. And the problem with that is going to be that now the drag route is going to become an open over the middle as well. So, again, if the user uh, commits to that running back Texas pattern, you're seeing all the adjustments they're having to make out of a man-covered shell uh, to be able to, you know, stop this. you got to get something like this. It's going to be tough for them to blitz you, um, you know, on and on and on. So now the, the, the beauty becomes – now it's tough for them to blitz us, and we can always hit this backside drag, which I'll show you right here. You see the drag comes with the middle. We can hit that because the cloud flat is going to get pulled back by that outside outside uh, fade route. So they're probably going to go to zone coverage. Um, and so when they go to zone coverage, the problem is whether it be cover four or cover three specifically, um, those coverages we are going to be able to attack with this corner route. So. You'll see right here that this corner route will get over the top of a curl flat, just like that, and you're able to hit that on the sideline. So you have that read uh, if they're running, you know, if they're running that coverage. Now, if they're running cover two, uh, I want to show you something with this concept. So let's say they are running a, a cover two, which is probably the best coverage they can run to stop this play. Uh, what you're going to notice here is this outside corner route is going to be covered because it's a sharper cutting corner. It's going to have a hard time of getting over the top of cloud flats. But the thing I want you to also see, though, is now that your, your uh, corner route is pulling back that cloud flat, just like in the man coverage, we can hit that drag over the middle of the field. Now, Sean Taylor is uh, absolutely shedding me like crazy. So for the purpose of the video, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and spy him. But basically, if they don't blitz you, and even if they do blitz you because you're blocking your tight end, you should have plenty of time 
to be able to step up and hit your drag route as a and throw a pick. You know, hopefully you throw a pick um, just like that. But the drag route's going to be there for you uh, in a couple of specific scenarios. One of those specific scenarios is if they're using a burnt hook, again, they're going to be committing themselves to using that, uh, that route to bow uh, over the middle, that Texas pattern. So, again, you just got to wait on this drag. You can hit it right there as well, and you can hit that. What's cool about that version of the drag is you can actually hit that if they're in hard flat. So, uh, let's say they're double mabeling uh, on both sides. So we've got a hard flat and we got a cloud. We got a hard flat and we got a cloud. We know the user has to guard the running back because it's the best, probably one of the better routes on the play. So because of that, they're going to be kind of passing that drag off to the, the flat defender. But because of the spacing of U trips, you can throw that before he gets to the flat defender and be able to attack that as well over the middle. Now let's say you know in, in the example of like a like let's say like a baseline press cover four, they decide well I'm going to manually go user the corner route. In a situation where they go to the right off the snap, really the main read here is we're looking for this Texas pattern right over here. It's such a good route, and they really have to respect that. The beauty of the drag in the Texas pattern is it's literally going to force your opponent to have to stay. Uh, in the middle of the field, and because they have to stay in the middle of the field, now we're able to attack the sideline a little bit more easily. Obviously, if they're running cover two every single play, it could be a little bit difficult to run this play. Um, this play is not going to be every defense, right? Um, but it's going to beat a lot of defenses, and it's going to force them into a certain coverage over there, which is going to open up other options for the offense later down the road. If you guys want to get my entire U-Trips offensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to that down in the description below. I think U-Trips is a really, really good offense this year. There's a lot you can do with it, and it has probably the best spacing in Madden. So thanks for watching the video. To get all of our eBooks, join the Patreon today for just $10. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.